This map looks kind of confusing. I don't think I need word of recall in this one. So I'm gonna see what other good water creatures I could put. See, so I don't think I need Tough Song. I think only lasts for four turns. Um, I got the fat bodies. I have six ways to draw cards. What was this one it hit me with? Oh, that's right. It's plus round number. That's not too bad. You know, if the round number is 20, it comes to 50-60. Although, that's also nice. Um, I wish I had another Kelpie. You know what I could put in? Put a Wonder Wall. The only thing that's bad is its HP is actually pretty low. But it does neutralize fire, water, earth, and air, so. We have to discard a card. I really don't want to do that. What to do, what to do. It's so hard, I don't know what to do. Not entirely sure, wait. Not entirely sure what I should do. I mean, I could use Chariot. Generally, I only have one Kelpie, so that's not going to help me that much. Um... Maybe I'll try backward. You know, if I have high level lands, I can make them go backwards. Possibly mess them up. Let's try that. Let's check out backward. 
Alright. We'll reflect and then save. Onward to the next stage. In all corners of the Twin Continents, the forces of the Empire and the High Priest waged war against one another. I continued on my journey, chasing the distant sadness I felt from her. I had to discover what was in her heart for myself, and then I reached the garden. A garden nestled between the two continents, where it is said that a flower blooms every time someone passes on. Well, that's a lot of people passing on. That's a lot of flowers. I feel so much sadness here. Why? You've done well to find this place, boy. Oh, her. You're a scepter of the high priest. They used to hold public executions here. I was the executioner. I'd lop off the heads of those scepters who dared to defy the High Priest, and then take their powers. Take their powers? The High Priest rewards his chosen ones with power, and makes them scepters. The woman you seek, she too serves as a scepter to the High Priest. Shall I take your head too, boy? Or will you be joining my hand? The choice is yours. Oh, so that's how it's done, huh? I always wondered how I could make them all mine. Who the? Rilara? Of course, either way. Probably still choose her over me. I sense powerful gods. You're a scepter too. Hear me well, servant of the High Priest. As the Oracle who defends the will of the cards, I will not allow this to continue. Got all that? And now I'm gonna fight you too. Told you I wouldn't lose next time. Don't trifle with me. These flowers shall bloom from your lifeless bodies. For a card game, this has one dark story. It's your turn. Oh, Rolara is actually nice now. What happened here? Oh. Okay, so there's two castles. North. West. Enter it. So do you not have to hit the castles then? Or like, you can hit either one? That'd be my guess. 
Okay, which means in order to win, I need to trap them. Meaning, I need to put uh, Kelpie here or here or basically just around each fort. Wind of hope. Let's see what we get from drawing. Leaf and another bloody pudding. Not bloody burning, sorry. I'm um, gelatinous wall. We'll put jelly wall down. So I see Rolara has changed. She used to be a bandit. And now... She's an oracle. To an unknown land. <laughs> Aim for the next fort. It's your turn. Haste. Aim for the next fort. Dun -dun -dun. Let's bring this up to level two. That that fire creature she has is actually quite nice. Death Scythe. It's a lot of attack off the bat. Really piss poor um defense though. So there's that. Can't put that down. One, I don't think I can go on fire land. I didn't check his requirements. Two, I need two water lands before I can place him. Discard a card. Wind of hope. Discard a card. Yep, they both can't go on. Aim for the castle. This is gonna put me down here. Discard a card. Okay, I'm gonna keep the water shield. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna use that. Holy word zero. You received a reward. Good luck on your next journey. Alright, so now I have the requirement for Poseidon. Slow. That wouldn't hurt me too much. Like, if I get a one, it would suck. Aim for 
the next because I would rather get two or three so I could place something down but it wouldn't bother me too much if I got a one dream terrain Aim for the next fort. It's your turn. Backwards. I'm gonna make Castori go backwards. Make an offering to your god. All right. We dump Poseidon, and I'm good to go for a little while. Cool, I'm gonna keep the storm armor. Obviously I don't have to worry about it. Aim for the next fort. Can't place any creatures down just yet. Receive the Oracle of the Gods. Body the Poseidon. Actually, what I would love to do, if I could, is Kelpie here. Kelpie here. You have to understand, like, they can only come in through one of two ways. Inner area. And you have to hit one of these castles. Well... If you put a Kelpie up here, or Kelpie over here, they're going to have to hit it. Like a Kelpie over here, they'll always have to hit it if they go right. And a Kelpie up here, they're always going to have to hit it if they decide just to go left. So we'll see how that works out. To your god, warp to an unknown land. Aim for the next fort. You've stopped in your own territory. It's your turn. Receive the Oracle of the Gods. Mm -hmm. 
Make an offering to your god. Warp to an unknown land. Coming down below because there's no way you're going up top. The next fort. Yep. You've stopped in your own territory. Discard a card. It's your turn. Discard a card. Ugh. Stop giving me like old number rolls, please. Soul hunt. Soul hunt. <sighs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy I finally have shields, but... It would be nice to... If she didn't use it, I mean, it would be nice to have creatures that I could put down, populate. I get something. Okay, I'll get rid of this. Now, if I roll a one, sorry, if I roll a two or three, not going that way. Oh, thank you. Aim for the next fort. I don't want to land on that. Stop in enemy territory. Slow. She's lucky I don't have a holy word one because I'd send her right on that. It's your turn. Discard a card. Yeah, I'm gonna put anti magic on myself. Anti magic. Oh, why couldn't I have got a two? I'm so glad I put that on me. You may cast a spell again. Aim for the next fort. Receive the Oracle of the Gods. That would have been really bad. Discard a card. What's funny because I know what card they always go for. They always go for my storm armor. Receive the oracle. Water creatures gain five strength, that helps me. It's your turn. Aim for the castle. Warp to an unknown land. I can at least put down something. Yay! Aim for the castle. Warp to an unknown land. Discard a card. You're gonna use that holy word one on me, aren't you? Down the other looking pretty good for me though, actually. <clears throat> you received a reward. Good luck on your next journey. Aim for 
Aim for the next fort. Increase her attack. It's your turn. Let's see what I get. Discard a card. I'll actually discard the water shield. Make an offering to your god. <clears throat> I'll increase your level up to three. Not surprised it took me. You've stopped in enemy territory. And death side. Versus swamp spawn. And normally I could not stop him. Prepare for battle. His attack gets me. But we're gonna use uh, one of the shields. Not sure, but I think the the colors of the le of the flowers changed. Leave my eyes playing playing tricks on me. Make an offering to your god. Magic bolt. Hmm. That's not nice for Lara. You received a reward. Good luck on your next journey. It's your turn. Backward. Hey, Silver, how's it going? <clears throat> Give me my Kelpie. Oh no, there's idols. Oh, uh, I'm not happy. That's coming down, isn't it? Oh no. Oof. This could be bad. Just saying. What does it do? You're just gonna use abilities that trigger a battle end or on defeat. Son of a bitch! No, that's not good for me. Fine. Discard a card. Multitasking is always fun. Tough song. Discard a card. Make an offering to your. I need one of those fire lances as my own. Oh, 
Aim for the next fort. Aim for the next fort. Surprised she discarded that one. Discard a card. Warp to an unknown land. Aim for the next fort. You've stopped in your own territory. It's your turn. Discard a card. You've stopped in your own territory. Get rid of Holy Word Zero. Aim for the next fort. Discard a card. It's your turn. I don't think. No, actually, you can use that. Turn you into a 90 HP creature. Did it do what I think it did? Yes. We're going this way. You've stopped in your own territory. Dream terrain. Now that I have that fire land, I can start It's your turn. Leaving traps when I can. Make an offering to you. You've stopped in enemy territory. Brave song. Aim for the castle. You've stopped in your own territory. It's your turn. Warp to an unknown land. She probably is able to destroy my wall of ice. I don't care. Yellow Ogre versus Wall of Ice. Prepare for battle. Oh yeah. That's, that's a lot of damage. That's the only, you know, it's funny is that's the only creature any of them can actually destroy right now. Discard a card. Any of my other ones, you can't touch them. Aim for the next fort. You've stopped. 
lost in enemy territory. It's your turn. Holy word at zero. You received a reward. Good luck on your next warp to an unknown land. Aim for the next fort. Let's do it. You've stopped in enemy territory. Discard a card. You've stopped in enemy territory. Fate versus gelatinous wall. This is the quickest I've ever had a. A five come up. Okay, so she can't use. All she had is a shield and prismatic wand. Prismatic wand can only work if the two creatures don't share the same element type. Which means she can't touch it. Now it sucks because that idol is out, I don't gain any extra mana from damage, but insufficient magic power. Starting to take the lead already. We're doing it, boys! And just for good measure, I'm going to put land protection on that, so they can't do anything sneaky. Might as well put this up to level 4. This could actually destroy Poseidon because Poseidon doesn't get the from himself. Prepare for battle. Um Let's put the was it diamond armor? Yeah, let's put diamond armor on. We give about 150 HP. So you can do 90. Oh wow, you can do a lot. Thankfully, I can. I'll have 160. What? Damn. This is why sometimes this game can be confusing. The battle was a draw. This. Four or five different abilities ran at the exact same time. Grace. Oh, that's right. First, she has Tough Song, which gives all of her attacking creatures plus twenty. You stopped in an it's your uh, Wind of hope. And then the creature she used itself has an ability that gets bonuses for in play. Which there was. 
both of them. And then the item itself that she used has its own bonuses. It's like, geez, so much stuff goes off at once. She's gonna go forward, she's not coming down this way. Good, go over there, damn. Paralyzer. You may cast a spell again. Aim for the castle. Warp to an unknown land. You've stopped in enemy territory. It's your turn. Discard a card. Aim for the next fort. I still use your ability. No, I can't. Okay, so if you're paralyzed, you can't attack or use abilities. That kinda sucks. Which means I can only power you up this way. Let's do it. You received a reward. Good luck on your next journey. You've stopped in enemy territory. It's your turn. Discard a card. <sighs> I'm going to discard haste and then use relief. Relief. Swap you with you. Relief doesn't generate HP or anything, but it does drop any statuses. So now it's no longer paralyzed. There is what I was looking for. Good old Kelpie. Okay. Which means I need to level this land up four or five. Drop Kelpie down. Okay. Although, to be fair, Kelpie on that protected land would be way better. So maybe I'll get another land protect, we'll see. I don't remember if I got rid of one already. Because I only have two. So Kelpie's going to make them only go one way. Prepare for battle. Yeah, you ain't beat nothing.
the battle was a draw. Because the ultimate question is... It's your turn. Oh, protect myself. Thank you. -magic. Where should I put it? Aim for the castle. Warp to an so that big... Land. That's no longer there. Oh, that's mine. You've stopped in your own Which means time. level that up to four? Another idol. Oh, not good. You've stopped in enemy territory. Okay, so you're gonna deal critical damage. Do you have any items? Yes. We use water shield. There he goes, that's good. I actually would have done that on her idol, but okay. It's your turn. Make an offering to your god. I'm gonna place Kelpie down. Yes. Place Kelpie down. in your own territory. It's your turn. Relief. Now I relief Kelpie over there. So now they're no longer going to go on the left side of the map. Until they have to. Because no matter which way you come from, whether you hit here, you have to go this way. So actually, they're going to be fine. But if anybody comes here, they're not going to go that way anymore. So now I just need to trap this area. I'm so glad I got another storm armor. Aim for the next fort. Future ability. Turn that into water. Time to start building up on the water chains inside the inner circle. Yeah, let's just level it up. 
care. I'll turn that into water when I can. Aim for the castle. Warp to an unknown land. So when Castora rolls, she's actually gonna go down. Unless she rolls a one or two. You went up? That's actually a shock. Wait, you can steal items. Uh, I'm not using items and I don't care about it anyway. Oh no, you're immune to item and destroy effects. Uh, I still don't care about this card. I guess she decided not to use anything. I might have to hurt myself the defense withstood the attack. with lapping. It's your turn. Aim for the next fort. I might have the total mana. Uh, I don't know what to do. Hopefully she doesn't roll anything enough to land on Kelpie. Just before Kelpie, that's fine. I am shocked they're both going the same direction. They never do that. And I literally mean never. Again, this is actually a card I don't care about, so... You know what? Let's keep it. The only reason why I kept it is it destroys her ogre so she can't use it against Kelpie and the item, even if it could be recycled, is going to get destroyed anyway. This is good. Because... It's your turn. And I think I have the game won, I just want to really make sure... Oh, I can't upgrade it. That's bad. Okay. Not a problem. Oh, God. Okay, this is the only one I definitely can't use a shield on. I need to make sure Kelpie survives no matter what. So, bye-bye. And she didn't use an item. Sometimes this game makes no sense. Okay. Lara's gonna land on Kelpie. Hopefully next turn. Make an offering to your god. You're a you've stopped in enemy territory. Sage versus Kelpie. Magic power. It's your turn. I think it's cycled. 
Holy word zero. And that is the end of the map. That is why it wanted me to go to the castle. That scepter. She's gone. The souls of those scepters whose lives she took. Have exacted their revenge. I still couldn't prevail. Not against you. Ilara. I've been charged with purifying this place. You go on ahead, okay? Faustina's waiting for you. Well, you can clearly see so <laughs> That's when I, I that, that's a, the moment when Lara, Lara landed on the 1100 and then I max it out. That kind of sucks. So the HP and maximum HP cannot be altered by spells or territory abilities. And more lands. Okay. I'm actually going to be ending the stream. I have no clue when this game is going to end so far. I've gone through two different endings. And this is a, a new path. Which I think this is the final path. So if anything, there's anywhere between five, uh, three to five more maps to go. Including this one. Once Coltsip Saga is done, it's going to be on the back burner for a little bit. Still going to go back to it with farming and showing off different books. Uh, edit the support book. Actually, finally start working on this one that I call working. The only thing I need to know about working is... Look at my fire creature. there's a, a fire book that I want to make and I think I have I think I have all the fire creatures but I was waiting on getting a couple more of, of certain ones so we, we shall see So, while it's on the back burner, I'm not entirely sure what's next. Um, could be Metal Gear Solid 5. I might have a creative stream. I, I haven't decided. Could be something completely different. I don't know. 
Um, you're also going to be seeing some speed runs here, because now that I have the setup, I can actually start doing. Well, there's a couple more that I have to do. I want to reclaim some of my spots on some of the puzzle ones. I'm going to be learning two or three different runs for different games. So we'll see. Uh, until then, if, again, if you ever need any information on Coldcept, you can go search online for Coldcept Central. It is the largest Coldcept website. You can find out information on every Coldcept game, both past and the new one, Revolt, which is coming out on October 2nd, I believe. You can find uh, book ideas, combos, tips, tricks. You can also get the link to the Discord if you have any other further questions that you can't find answers to. We can always help you there. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next time.